Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have uh, changed the name of my YouTube channel from Elliot Wave Green to Elliot Wave Principal. So please, if you are a regular viewer, you can note that down. Another thing is in today's video, we are going to analyze gold and silver market. We are going to revise our analysis on silver market, particularly and gold as well. Market has changed <coughs> a bit and it has given us more insight into our pattern analysis. In today's video, I, I'll, I will also be showing uh, my own trade that I have running on gold. Uh, actually started it today. So I'll be showing that too. So let's get back to our today's analysis. First of all, uh, let's have a look at the silver market, what's happening right now. Initially, we were expecting that we are going to have a correction and then we are right about it that we are right in the correction phase we have completed an impulse wave and we are in the correction phase we're trying to identify the right correctional pattern thinking that this is going to be wave 2 so it's going to be deeper uh, another way that uh, wave 2 can occur is that spend more time in correction instead of going deeper it can spend more time and this is what we're expecting because of the price action that followed occurred on Monday today uh, as you guys can see prices went up sharply let's get back to this is daily chart actually as you guys can see we had a huge break and the prices uh, uh, went up sharply and then we can easily see resistance prices have rejected already from the top that g gives us an indication first of all that the correction is very uh, less in time especially for a wave one that is in, uh, of a cycle degree starting so i'm expecting that we will have a easily follow through of the price price comes back reflected in this region so that's the first move that we're expecting for silver market. Instead of actually continuation, I'm still under belief that we have not completed wave 2 right over here and then we are into the continuation of wave 3. It's too early. Uh, cycle waves do not go uh, like that. But if you do decide to take a trade, please keep uh, risk management in mind. So if I was to take a trade on silver, I would put my stop loss somewhere right over here at the back. Right? Uh, if you look at hourly chart frame and then we do see that there is a uh, some sort of correction coming into action we have see you can make it as one two and then one two some sort of flat uh, wave is looks like there's gonna be some sort of flat correction right over here and then f prices fall back over here it will be more um, better if we wait for the prices to go and come back down and then uh, cross this very important support level that will be an indication that for now at least the top of the correction has been achieved and then we will start seeing prices downward as far as silver is concerned so once again we were expecting that the price will follow that I do not right now expect that price will go that deep it looks like that silver is going to spend more time in the range of top to bottom right over here this being bottom and this being top we have already created two bottoms right over here and we have already created two tops right over here I'm expecting that this behavior will follow uh, till we have actually seen the bottom let's have a look in uh, in gold market important point right now I wanted to make that is that now we can say with a higher confidence that we have created a bottom right over here for the cycle wave that actually started back in 2011 right from here so now we can say with a higher confidence especially that the wave is spending more time over there that we have created a bottom over here in silver if you look at this board this is very important this also provides the top of this range as well and this as well so this is a very important support area once prices fall back I do not expect prices to fall all the way back down over here so I myself haven't bought the silver bullion yet I guess the good point to buy silver bullion will be right around here $22, $23 would be a really good point to buy silver bullion US dollars let's have a look at uh, at gold because of the price action in uh, silver we can see that uh, first we were expecting that this is wave A this is going to be a B right over here somewhere and then we would see wave C now I have changed the labeling a little bit. I do believe that we are right around the completion of the correction. This is wave A, this is wave B, and this is wave C. You can label it that way, and that also helps us too. We can, if you consider it that five-wave structure, this is a three-wave structure, and we have already labeled this as a expanding ending diagonal, which leads us to this point. That gives us that means this is wave one probably. We might see a little push up just. I do not 100 personally believe on this price target there's a possibility we might see a push up but 
top is right now very close and you'll start seeing prices coming down soon as well so I believe that we have one over right over one of three over here and I, I believe that we are very close to the uh, ending of wave two of wave three uh, I want to put your attention towards uh, one more thing in that first of all if from that top if we had draw the um, draw the support line then this one is really helpful you guys can see that we are away from the the major support line we have also drawn a second support line from this top as well uh, and this top as well and you guys can see right now prices are kind of in that area where they went up and they were refused in this region there's a possibility we might see a double top in that area but for now I do not believe that we are going to continue in a uh, in an impulsive way I do believe that we are very very close to the completion of correction I have taken my own uh, position in gold uh, myself I have decided not to take consider top right over here I have been saying that I'm considering top right over here and I have taken a position accordingly let's uh, so this is a small position that I've taken It's basically um, a one thousand and one thousand dollar um, stop loss I'm bearing that if the price actually goes through that then I'll be losing one thousand dollars on top of it this is basically 10 ounces of gold I do believe that we I can take a little teeny tiny position again uh, another one ounce I can add on to it so let me see if I can add another uh, one ounce so new order and then we'll go and see if we can add one more ounce and for the top we can consider the, the this one top is uh, 1957 so we can consider 1957 for this as well and we can sell the market again right over here this place this is a good enough price to sell it right now we have 11 ounces of gold that I've sold right over here the reason I have taken the position in gold instead of uh, silver is because I do believe that gold has a lot of value to come down it has not I believe it has not yet created at the bottom so I believe that gold has a lot of place to fall down as compared to silver if you look silver does not have a lot of room if the, we are considering this as a very important support area looking at our historical tops and this region important support regions it does not look that it has a lot of price to go through fall down so I've decided to take a position in gold instead of taking a position in silver Thank you so much for your cooperation. Once again, I have uh, changed the name of the channel from Elliott Wave Green to Elliott Wave Principal. The, um, uh, the picture probably says the same, but mm, you will notice the mm, change name as well. Thank you so much for visiting. If you like today's video, please press thumbs up. It will help uh, YouTube to spread the video to uh, people who actually want to see Elliott Wave analysis. Uh, thank you so much. Have a good uh, continuing uh, of the week. Uh, see you guys soon. Thank you.